Well, what do you do if you have two languages? Can you can you use contains? And mm. you can do that. You can totally do that with with a regular expression because you can just say, "Hey, match me A B C." Or uh, wait, I'm not sharing my screen. Um, here it is. So you can either match A B C or match C B A, right? So when I do that, and let's let's actually give it two arguments, and I'll just do data C Y card because that's like the card. Uh, element that we have over here. Let me just squeeze it a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. Wait, that's probably too much and this is better. All right, so it's going to match this one, right? So let's, let's just save this test and see what it has matched and there we go. Now I'm going to rewrite that to CBA, which would be like the language, the reverse language. <laughs> and uh, run my test again and we should still match it the same card so if you have a translation that could work and there probably would be like um, I think there might be a more scalable solution here and uh, but this is like if you have two probably this could work for you uh, hmm. by the way if you if you want to if you want to have um, I once dealt with dealt with an A-B test and usually what you need to do with A-B test is just like take control of that and make sure that in your test you are either always getting A or always getting B and you have one test for A and one test for B. But what if what if that uh, thing is just like a let's let's imagine it's just a blue and green, bu green button and for some reason they have like totally different selectors. What you can do, and I don't think we talk about this uh, a lot, but when we are using get, it's actually like the query language, may I say? Not sure if, if, if uh, saying it's a language is a, is a good thing of say, uh, doing that, but if you have ever worked with CSS, you know that you can target multiple things at once and apply a certain style to them. So what you can do if you have like an A-B test and the flow is basically the same, but you may have the one thing that might be different. What you can do is go blue button and then green button. And since you know that you will always only have one on your page, then uh, then you are uh, then then you can do it like this. Wait, uh, gosh, not like this. Sorry, like this. <laughs> Like this, so it's like it's one string, but divided by comma in the middle, and this will, this selector would select both blue button and green button. But if you have an A/B test and one has blue button and the other one has green button, it will only match one, right? If you, either you are on the A or you are on the B, and it will only match one element, so this get will always return. Uh, just one element and then you will click on it. Uh, 